isang mapagpalang linggo ng umaga sa lahat ng kasama natin sa ating pananambahan ngayon. Sa ating mga kapatiran ng Good Never Christian Fellowship, mga kamag-anak, kaibigan at mga dating kamag-aral. Muli tayong magkakasama at magpapasalamat, magpupuri, mag-aaral, makikinig, mananalangin sa ating Diyos sa pangalan ni Jesus ngayong umaga. This is our penultimate Sunday ng uh, February. Before I continue again, mahalaga po na tayo ay naglalaan ng uh, sandali ng sama-samang panalangin. So tayo po ay uh, manalangin, magiko ng ating ulo at magpikit ng ating mga mata. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today. Again, despite the uh, effect of pandemic, we can still gather together in our homes, in our places of abode, through online, to offer you our praise, our thanks, and our worship in the name of of your Son, our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Maraming salamat po na today meron pa kaming buhay na iyong ipinahihiram. Buhay na aming maipaglilingkod sa iyo at sa aming kapwa. And this morning, Lord, again, we pray for forgiveness sa aming mong mga kasalanan. Ang bagay na aming naisip, na salita, na gawa na hindi po ayon sa iyong kalooban. Kaya po kami ay humihingi ng kapatawaran at paglilinis sa pangalan ni Jesus. This morning, Lord, even as we come together, we lift up to you ang aming pong mga kapatid at mga kaibigan na patuloy na dumaranas ng karamdaman physically kundi man nasa ospital, nasa ang ng tahanan, receiving medical care, medicines, and necessary uh, food to sustain their strength and their health. Lord, we pray for your mercy that you will touch them with your hands and finally, according to your purpose, by your power, Heal them, Lord. Deliver them from this sickness or disease. Lord, we also pray that uh, may you sustain yung kakayahan nila na makapagbayad sa doktor, sa hospital, makabili ng gamot, ng tamang pagkain, Lord. We know that you will not close your eyes to look at them with favor, Lord, that you will, Lord, grant them the desires of their hearts. We also would like to pray for our brothers and sisters and friends na patuloy pa rin silang nakakaranas ng financial difficulties. Lord, we pray that may you also address their needs we don't know how, but we know that you can and you will continue to provide them, Lord. We, I pray, Lord, na nawa ay patuloy nilang ilagap sa iyo ang kanilang pagpitiwala. Lord, this morning we also pray for those uh, na nag-celebrate ng mga milestones sa kanilang buhay. Birthdays or wedding anniversaries or whatever blessings that they receive. That, Lord, we thank you for them and we pray that may you continue also to keep watch over them and give all the best for them, Lord, that only during this special moment in their life, but also every day, Lord. Lord, we also would like to pray for a listening heart, an understanding heart, an accepting heart sa pakikinig namin ng iyong mensahe, Lord, that uh, 
Pastor Ribong is sharing to us Sunday after Sunday na kami po ay makatupad doon sa sinasabi ng salita na hindi lamang po may nakikinig kundi kami ay tumutupad ng imang salita. Lord, dalangin po namin na this Sunday will again be special to us as we gather together, Lord, as we listen to your words through prayer, through songs, and through the message. Bless us, Lord, today in Jesus' name. Amen. We are in the penultimate Sunday of February. And uh, again, Pastor Ribo will uh, share to us another insight sa character ni David. Kaya nasabi ng God sa Acts 13, 22, I found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything that I want him to do. Nung pong nakaraan linggo, maganda po yung uh, uh, message sa Pastor Ibo, uh, tumutungkol sa puso ni David, full of love, devotion, and uh, dedication uh, sa uh, kanyang Diyos, sa ating Diyos. Na ito yung ating gusto rin namang nasa sa ating buhay. Na ang ating puso ay merong 100% love and passion for God. Obedience and uh, dedication. Kaya po, this Sunday, naniniwala ako na Again, ay marami tayong matututunan. Yung pong ating mga ministry, weekly activities, ay dyan po sa inyong screen. And uh, tomorrow, ay uh, Bible study ng ating GNCA professionals at 8 o'clock. So, yung pong mga hindi pa dumadalo, eh, ay dyan din po naman sa Inyong, sa inyong mga computer ang link. So you can link and join this uh, wonderful Bible study and prayer time sa pagunguna ni uh, Pastor Ibo sa mga professionals. Again and again, you hear me say that uh, we want these professionals to be equipped that someday there will be our second generation leaders ng ating church. Also, a special uh, mention sa ating online Sunday School, sa pangunan ni Ate Puring, ni Ate Blenny, ni Kuya Romeo, oh, please let your children, small children and grandchildren to attend our online Sunday School at uh, 9 o'clock uh, every Sunday. So, makikinabang po ang mga bata sa pagdalo nila sa gawain ito. Sa darating na buwan, March, we will again have our uh, new series sa ating uh, mga mensahe ni Pastor Ribo. And uh, sa March, we will uh, look into, understand, and obey the two great commandments as told by Jesus Christ in Matthew. Matthew... Uh, 22 verses 37 to 38. Ito po ay nakaligay sa isang tarpulin sa ating church. And nais po nating uh, balikan ito, unawain, at sundin yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ. And to summarize po yung dalawang commandment na yun, ang sabi ni Jesus Christ, Love God, love people. So, yun po ating magiging uh, series ng messages sa uh, darating na March. Understanding and obeying the two great commandments. Loving God, loving people. At yan po ay uh, tatunakayin sa ating muli ni Pastor Ted Ribo. So, sa umaga ito, naniniwala ako na naroon ng ating uh, kagalakan at uh, yung ating sense of anticipation 
sa ating mapag-aaralan mula sa salita ng Diyos. Kaya lagi ko sila sabi sa inyo, be ready with your ball pen, with your notebook, and the Bible. Para po na hindi lamang ninyo napapakinggan, kundi na isusulat ninyo yung mga mahalaga na bahagi ng mensahe ni Pastor Ibo. So sa inyo lahat, isang magandang umaga, isang magalak na pananambahan at ang patuloy na pangunguna ng ating Diyos sa pamamagitan ng bala na Espiritu ang ating maranasan. Amen at Amen.